miles offshore. Sorry about the wind noise, I'll say that up front. It's pretty gusty today. But we're 12 miles out. Um, we're gonna do some vertical jigging. Sun's hit or miss. It's not ideal conditions, but I wanted to get out here and get some content for you guys. And while I'm on that subject, I created a PayPal. The channel just got monetized at 1,000, but if you wanna contribute, I'd appreciate it. Everything will go right back into growing the channel. The link will be right beneath the video right there in the description. So if you guys wanna do that, it's much appreciated. Like I said, we're gonna get some vertical jigs down. The screen's showing some good marks. So hopefully we'll get on a big amberjack, maybe another gag grouper, something like that. Let's do it. So the 250 gram wasn't doing it. Gonna go with a little smaller approach, a little lighter setup. Got the Daiwa Luxa here. Got the 40 pound on this now. So I get to test that out, what kind of pressure I can put on it. See if the smaller jig triggers the bite. A little lighter leader. It's got 80 pound leader, 40 pound braid. There we go, fish on. Oh! There he is. Fish of the day right here. Let's go. Yeah, I got the drag lock now. Here we go, baby. First fish of the day for me. Second fish to the boat. Feels like a good amberjack. Bumping the rod up to 40 pound was definitely the move. Yeah. So second drop with the 120 gram, just a little smaller jig. Might have been the action in the rod, just the lighter, lighter rod able to move a little bit better. Doesn't feel like a huge fish, but the thing about amberjacks is they're all fun to fight. They're all strong. He feels decent. He feels, he feels okay. Yeah. Looks like something swiped him. I don't know if it was just now. Looks pretty fresh, but something bigger might have tried to eat this guy on his way up. My first one of the day, just a little warm up fish. Appreciate you, buddy. I locked the drag on that fish, so, was, yeah. so now it's capable to just like go. There we go. Oh, that's a better one. I could tell immediately. He's weightier. I'm lifting him, but he's he's bigger. <laughs> yes. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Real one. We got the real one here. He's better. <laughs> this is definitely bigger than that last fish. Oh yeah. He's much better. He's dumping. Come on, don't go, don't get in the structure. Thirty inches. Together, no knots give, nothing breaks. I think I got, he's, he's strong man, he's got the ability to keep pulling this reel down to the bottom. 22 pounds of drag locked on him. Oh 
Oh yeah. We're moving him. He's got weight. This is a real one, guys. It's a good fish. This is the biggest fish I've caught on this Lexa for sure. For sure. Okay, it's I agree there. Easily. There he is. Very nice. Another nice greater amberjack right here. You can rest right there, buddy. <laughs> On the dive Alexa. Yeah, man, that setup's just too much fun with the, the bait caster setup. Power knob. Yeah, man, that was sick. Let's get, let's get a measurement on him and see what he is. That's on the 120, must add moon riser, and that pink sardine color. Ooh, hoo, hoo. <laughs> Normally, once you get them in, they don't flip. They're usually pretty chill. Yeah, take them up front. Get a measurement. Maybe not. 35. Yeah, 36. That's his, uh, yeah, that's his chin. 36 on the nose. Three footer. First drop, changed back over to the 120 gram. Thought I'd show them something a little different. They like it. Turns out they like it. Yeah. Starting to get healthy. Starting to get a little thick with it. Thick with it. Thick with it. Thick with it. She gets it from her mama. Lost in the East Pass, swam out. We on? Hey. First one I've lost today. Let's see what happened right there. I don't know. It felt like a sleeve or something gave. No, he just broke, he cut me off. I wonder if it was a snapper, man. It felt different. And an amberjack can't do that. That was a clean cut. I feel like that was a snapper or a grouper. That was different. He felt different. Wasn't fighting like an AJ. And a big school followed me up through the column. I bet that was a snapper. Yep. He followed it down to the bottom. There's a fish right off the bottom. 120. I don't 
think he, he's not as big as the last fish, but he's, he's pulling some drag. He's respectable. Yeah, it's an AJ. Oh man, I don't know if that was a shark or something beneath him was big. Didn't really look like a shark. Might have been a bigger amberjack. All right, Connor just hooked up behind me. Oh yeah. Is that on a heavy? Yeah. Nice. Oh, it's a good one. Feels good? Heck yeah. There you go. All right, buddy. Oh. So I was on my third fish right there and Connor hooked up behind me. This is on some heavy gear. This is probably Connor's best amberjack right here. This is gonna be big. This Slammer 3 Gen 5 has 60 pounds of drag locked and it's pulled some ticks of it. It's pulled a little bit. Right. He did. I think. Nice, bro. Let's measure him. Yeah, I think he might be a shade over. He's close. He's a longer fish. So I hooked my third, and it kind of frothed the school back up. 33. Uh, no PB yet. 33, 30. Yeah, right in between, like 33 and a half. Still a nice fish. Man, he fought hard he did on that. Fight hard. I'm surprised he was pulling drag. Yeah. Good fish, man.